how's it going guys cody guys back again dropping out another video right guys uh this is another story about prisons surprise surprise uh link in the description below this is actually yahoo news uh, i think i stumbled across this on twitter by accident um you know how like spice and stuff it like you've got spice paper and stuff and they can't even send in kids paintings to jails now because they won't get through because uh, they believe everything's soaked in hallucinogenic drugs or uh, spice. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy, man. But uh, it goes on, guys. Don't get it twisted. But uh, not everyone that's getting sent in is. Uh, so this is a story on uh, Yahoo News. Link in the description. Headline reads, Prisoners smoke bits of dressing gown soaked in spice and smuggled into jail to get high. Prisoners have been smoking dressing gowns soaked in the drug spice to get high. The inmates have taken to taking the drastic measure to get round tight and prison security. The psychoactive substances have been blamed for rising violence behind bars after being widely smuggled into jails. They have been soaking clothes in drugs and then either smoking bits of cut up clothing or using the kettles, boiling the drugs out and impregnating them back onto paper, Steve Robson, the governor of Leeds Prison, told the BBC. About four or five months ago, we had a dressing gown doing the rounds where we all found little bits of dressing gown that we tested and it came back very high for new psychoactive substances. It comes after the prison installed an X-ray body scanner to detect drugs as part of a £10 million government pledge to reduce drug fuel violence in the most affected prisons in the UK. As well as Leeds, the, the worst affected prisons are Hull. Humber, Isis, Lindholm, Moreland, Nottingham, Ramby, Wheelston and the Scrubs or Wormwood Scrubs. Earlier this week, a former Leeds prison officer was sent to prison for eight months after court trying to smuggle drugs into jail. Jade Hicks previously worked at Leeds, then kept in contact, easy for me to say, with a prisoner after she finished working at the jail. She was in a, it sounds like she was in a sexual relationship with a prisoner at Leeds Jail. Uh, he got shipped to Doncaster. She'd followed him, or I should say she. To me, that looks like a bloke. What's going on with them eyebrows, lads? Uh, anyway, she... Uh, she was subsequently spotted passing drugs to an inmate at Doncaster. What happened? He got shipped to Donny. She went on a visit and she was smuggling drugs for him. Now, if he give a shit about her, he obviously, he was just using her, obviously, because if he wasn't using her and he, let's say he had feelings for her, he loved her, he wouldn't be asking her to bring drugs in knowing that it was going to put her liberty at risk. If your boyfriend, if you're in a relationship with a prisoner and he loves you and he's asking you to bring drugs in for him, then he doesn't really love you because if he really loved you, and any prisoner's girlfriend would know this, if he really loved you, he wouldn't put you in that position, would he? Anyway, she was subsequently spotted passing drugs to an inmate at Doncaster Prison because that's where he got shipped and she followed him out the door. Detective Inspector Steve William of Doncaster CID said, We work very closely with the prisoners in Doncaster to set a zero tolerance stance to any individual who chooses to convey prohibited items. These items are dangerous and we hope court cases like this send a strong message to anyone thinking about trying to get banned items into a prison. Now, they're going on about violence and stuff like that, record levels of violence and blah, blah, blah. The Prison Officers Association lobbied and was, was went to as far as going to pull a judicial review of the Her Majesty's Prison Service and the Ministry of Justice to fast track the smoking ban. In my opinion, they did that knowing... That prison, the currency is, uh, sorry, uh, burn tobacco has long been used for decades, probably centuries, as currency, as a stress relief, and just big business within prison. And if you're stressed, you're going to smoke more. <clears throat> and then they take, they, they ban smoking. They knew it'd see an increase in violence. They've used that increase in violence to carry a walkout. With that walkout, they said they'd only return to work if they got. 3.7% uh, pay rise, which they got. Um, Parva spray trialed in four prisons, um, which was then rolled out nationally. It's coming in in 2019. It's it's been rolled out now. And also rigid bar handcuffs. And then they want to talk about record levels of violence because of drugs. Well, simple. Stop having your officers bring it in. Prison, it, it gets into prison every different way, guys. We know that. But prison officers, they're bringing it in as well. That's the reality, man. Right, guys, we're going to leave the story there. This does go on where they soak it in, like... 
you can soak it into clothes and that say you like you put it on a pair of boxers you spray it onto a pair of boxers loads of it you can put a small amount in your water in your in, in your in your um obviously if you put loads of water in your kettle and you put your boxes in the kettle to flush the drug out to dilute the drug out into the water if you put loads of water in the drug's going to be separated amongst all them particles so if you use a small amount of water then you've got the stronger the, the more water you put in in other words the weaker the drug will be and then the the, the, the the soaking paper in it and stuff and then it's becoming spice paper again and then they're rolling it up and smoking it or they're just ripping it boxes and socks or dressing gowns or whatever the item soaked in uh, prisoners are ingenious guys people that think that prisoners are stupid and thick and sh as thick as shit clearly you've never seen prisoners at work prisoners are very shrewd and they are geniuses the masters of manipulation and they're also geniuses at fashioning weapons getting drugs into prison every which way just just think how sophisticated it, it is to get the obviously the spice sprayed onto clothing to get it into the prison People will be going to court, right, in the future, in clothing made, it'll be like fucking, in clothing just made of spice. And then they get to the pad, get all the clothing they'll be packing, they'll go through. And I hope it just, the prison will probably turn around and say, you can't have your own clothing, you have to wear a prison, prison issue. Goes on, guys, but like I say, prisoners are ingenious at getting uh, smuggling contraband into prisons every which way. Genius, absolute fucking, absolute fucking genius, bruv, I tell you. Don't know where that came from. Right, guys, link in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to shut up. Cody out.